I'll do. So it was my anniversary yesterday, two years since I had my heart attack. September 4th, 2021. I won't bore you with the intimate details, but basically I come out of the gym. About six o'clock, as I was walking across the car park, felt like someone had stuck an axe in my left shoulder. And that was the start. By the time I got to the car, I was in a bad way, sweating, grey. I knew what was happening. Um, I was quite at peace. I made a decision to drive home. 15 minutes, four miles down the motorway. Uh, my body, I felt, was going to let go of everything it had got. So I decided to, get, to, to go home. I got home, walked in, went to the bathroom. On the way in, I told my 15-year-old daughter to phone her mum, tell her to come home immediately, and once she was on her way, to phone again. Which she did. She didn't question me, she did that. Come out of the bathroom, got into bed. I was sweating and freezing. Uh, the missus phoned. The daughter is relaying the message. I said, tell your mum. I don't know why I'm laughing. I don't know why I'm laughing. Tell your mum I'm having a heart attack, phone an ambulance and drive careful, which she did. She got home, took me downstairs, elevated my feet. I was very, very lucky. The ambulance guy said I was probably, I don't know, 20 minutes away from death. They detoured from another call, made a decision to come to our house. Um, yeah, I was a lucky guy. Leeds Royal Infirmary had a procedure. By quarter to ten at night, I was up on the ward, uh, feeling much better, pain-free, eating custard creams, which are biscuits, and having a cup of tea. Why do you have a heart attack, me? Uh, people have asked, did the prison service contribute to it? No doubt it did. When I finished with the prison service in 216, I was in a bad way, blood pressure, everything. Everything, really. It is a stressful job. There are not a lot of fit prison officers. You know, it's long hours culture. Uh, it's, it's not the healthiest place to be. Health checks for all prison officers, that should be part of the job. Um, I came out of hospital. I was told remain stress-free. Two weeks before I went in, my daughter had been diagnosed with anorexia. Two weeks after I come out, me and my missus were doing shifts, days and nights, in the hospital looking after my daughter who had been admitted and was being tube fed. Um, so yeah, that was a tough 12 months after that. I initially lost half stone in the first month, which I needed to do. The next eight months put 10 pound on, I was heavier than pre-heart attack. That was June, 2022. I did have a gym membership, I started going. It's not easy. I'm not preaching to no one. You know, I took a long hard look at myself. I am a stubborn fucker me. Uh, you know, people talk about resilience and strength of character and all that. I'm stubborn. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this. I trained hard up to the end of October. Coming up to me 60th in November, I was ill. Chest infection, water infection, kidney infection, ear infection. Eight, ten weeks of flu-like symptoms. I was awful. January of this year, all the weight's back on. Again, I'm a bit heavier than pre-heart attack. 19 stone, six foot frame. So end of January, twice I went to the gym. February about four times, March, maybe six to eight times. May, three, four times a week. June, July, up to present date, smashing it. I'm probably as strong now as I was in my early 20s. Um, I'm getting cardio strength back. When I come out of hospital, let me tell you, after the heart attack. And, you know, you, you can do it, people. I couldn't walk 20 metres fast. without getting a pain in my chest. I was out of breath. It's horrendous. I was not scared of dying. I was fearful of leaving my missus, you know, with a mortgage to pay and everything. That bothered me a lot. So we look where I am now. Stress necessarily ain't gone away. You know, um, it's going to be a bit of a battle with my daughter. However, I'm loving everything I do. I'm back at work. I'm loving the job. 
me and the missus, we both stop drinking coffee, caffeine, alcohol, and we do things instead. We go out, you know, a couple of bottles of wine or a run to the coast. No brainer now. I'm not preaching to people again. You know, lifestyle is such a hard thing to change. Medication, when I came out of hospital, I was on nine meds. I, over the last two years, have researched their meds, the side effects, the benefits, you know, beta blockers, uh, two blood thinners, two blood pressure medications, medications for cholesterol, statin, statin, pff, no, I've done my research, I am now medication free, yeah, again, that's my choice, I've done the research, it's all out there guys on YouTube, cardiologists, talking about blood pressure, talking about cholesterol, diet, health, everything else. You make your own choices. Um, but going forward, I feel I'm in a good place. Uh, the channel, you know, at times I've struggled. Uh, it's been a bit of a battle. And I know before Christmas, uh, November, December, January, hardly posted anything, hardly left the house, I was rough. Now, buzzing, getting back to interviewing people, I enjoy vlogging. Um, and there's a, a decent community, I will keep saying this. You know, there's a lot of decent people out there. There's a lot of people I follow I will probably never meet. Some of them I know the stories, they've emailed me. Uh, there's a lot of sad stories, tragedy, abuse as kids. You know, horrendous prison stories and the like. But all them people are super positive. All the guests have had a positive response. Uh, very few trolls. Uh, it's a pleasure really, it's a hobby that, that I enjoy very much. Anyway, that's enough for me um, going on. Like I said, going forward, um, we try and keep content regular. Two or three vlogs a week, longer content at the weekend. Thanks again to everyone who support the channel. People who support me on Patreon, bought me a brew. Guests especially, past past present and future um, yes yeah, it's, 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 it's been a real pleasure doing this and speaking to a lot of you people if you've messaged me in the last 6 to 12 months and I've never got back to you please message me again you're not mithering me I love talking to people you know I'll if you've got a problem I'll give you the best advice I can um, again you know, it's sometimes nice to have someone to bounce off, but I mean, what's that? It's just, it just gets rammed. That don't mean you shouldn't message me, please do. So, um, thanks again to everyone who's contributed to the channel. God bless you all. Thanks for coming. I'll see you there.